Hey there, everybody, welcome back to another video. And this time I thought I should do a video of the cupboard of films. So this is where I keep definitely not all of my uh, films, but I keep all, uh, some here because, uh, you know, you know how it is when you have a family. You can't uh, just keep movies where you want. But this, is, this is a place where I keep movies. Uh, so before I open it up, I guess we should just check out what I have, what I have here on top. Uh, first up, I have this wonderful, wonderful book uh, about Alfred Hitchcock and every single movie that he made. It's like a Bible. Show, oh, look at that. That cover, that image there is alone. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, a soccer player. So this is from my favorite team, Arsenal. This is the captain, captain of Arsenal. Martin Odegaard, he's from Norway, I love him. Halloween, knife, uh, something random for my wife. Batman and the Joker, we got the Jason mask. We got Assassin's Creed. Now we got another Batman statue. So just some things on top there. Let's pop this. Baby, open here. Not the most pretty cupboard in the world because you know how it is when you have uh, kids. They like to put stickers on things and destroy these furnitures. But let's open up. Let's see what we have inside. And here's a couple of movies. Blu-rays, DVDs. Also got some video games, in fact. And ah, box sets. So over here... We have all my Arrow collection. This is actually my entire Arrow collection with the uh, uh, box sets as well. I just did, did a video of my entire blue, uh, of my entire Arrow films collection. So I'm not gonna go over that too much. But there you can see Arrow stuff, including Great the thing that I watched yesterday. I'm making that a Christmas. Oh, there's like Mungo. Uh, let's see what I have here. Door, door two. Finally, the uh, Candyman steelbook. But I have some other, uh, obviously, yeah, here's the arrow ones, but I also have some other things. Here we have the medium. So this is an Indonesian uh, horror movie. Unfortunately, well, not un but it is unfortunate because this came in a beautiful the slip case, like a media book. You have the movie itself on Blu-ray. You have the Blu-ray with just uh, special features, and you have a nice booklet. That's really cool. But the unfortunate thing is, it's all in Spanish, Spanish or Indonesian, and I. No English subtitles. It's only Spanish subtitles. That's haven't watched the movie because of that, but I'm really looking forward to watching it one time when I can. Here from Powerhouse Indicator, you have the El Santo box set. And look at this. Look how much I, I think I've gone over this before. You have a beautiful booklet. Sorry, almost full, tripping over myself. The box itself. One of those sturdy boxes. A huge book about El Santo. Two movies, Santo versus the Infernal, versus Infernal Men. And uh, also Santo versus Evil Brain. Two disc, two, and you get the this beautiful uh, poster as well. Yeah, let's pull that open if you haven't seen this poster. It's it's an awesome poster. Double, awesome double-sided poster. Santo versus Infernal Men. And Santo versus the Evil Brain. Awesome posters. It's a thick poster and it has this old look to it. I know there's a new box set with uh, Santa movies coming out. 
These were a lot of fun. Not the greatest in the world, but really fun. And we have the Shawshank Redemption Collection. Uh, I picked this up from Zobby. Man, this is beautiful. Has the Blu-ray, has a booklet, has... Uh, has all I did a special unboxing just for this one. So, one of the greatest movies of all time. Hannibal. All three seasons. Love this show. I'm not going to go through the movies like in depth, but I figured I'd go through them at least. Let's see here. Let's see what I have in my collection here in, in this cupboard. I should say I got tons more. I do have one new movie to show you off, and that's, yep, the most, one of the most infamous movies of all time. YouTube has a trigger for these two words, so I'm not going to say it, but you know, this movie. We got Halloween Ends. Uh, Samurai Rebellion, it's a classic. Newman and Cruz in the Color of Money. Color of Money, the Revenge. And here's the original, The Hustler. The Color of Money, Revenge is the follow-up. The Andromeda Strain. JFK with uh, Kevin Costner and by Oliver Stone. I love that movie. <laughs> Batman the Killing Joke. As you can see, it's kind of mixed. It's not just horror stuff. Let's pull down the other stuff here. The remake of the classic Maniac with Elijah Wood. Uh, this is a really damn good movie. I highly recommend this. It's I'd say it's a hidden gem, along with Blue Ruin. Absolute great movie. Such an underrated movie that no one barely talks about. These two movies. Sorry for the glare, though. They're, uh, Maniac and Blue Ruin, two hidden gems that deserves, definitely deserves more attention. Then we have Swamp Thing, the TV series, so only got one season, so I had to pick that up. Halloween Kills. Uh, Halloween 4. Here we have The Sadness. This was an awesome movie. <laughs> if you don't like um, gore and uh, blood, don't watch this, but this is a damn good movie. I had a lot of fun watching this. Revenge. So this is from uh, Eureka. The Bullet Train. That was a hell of a movie. And Golgo 13. This was a great movie. And finally, also from Eureka, we have The Spy Who Came In From The Cold. Those are in slip cases. Let's move on here. So I'm going through pretty quickly here because there's quite a lot to show off. We got Ninja Assassin, The China Syndrome from um, Indicator. That's a great movie. Not a classic from the 70s, All the President's Men, Redford Hoffman. The Camp on Blood Island, another Indicator movie. Road Games, Stacey Keach and uh, Jamie Lee Curtis. So from Indicator. The Eyes of Laura Mars, an American Jallo. Faye Dunaway, Tommy Lee Jones. This is a great movie. Really great movie. I think it was the, uh, if I'm not wrong here, I think the story was written by John Carpenter. Damn, I highly recommend The Eyes of Laura Mars. Really damn good movie. And Body Double, Brian De Palma. Yeah, we had some more here. Let's go through. Some more Japanese or Asian stuff. Violent Streets. Titan. Oh, this is my girlfriend's. She wanted me to buy this for her mask. But not for me. Pig. Bloodline. Musashi. Wrecked. Creature from the Black Lagoon. Oh, yeah. Goodfellas. And finally, in this pile. Uh, so this is um, 
it's the Spanish edition. Uh, what's it called? Uh, blown away. Yeah, blown away. Sorry. Get all this in Spanish. So you see, it's not all horror. I have tons of other stuff as well. Um, I think most in my collection overall, I have mostly horror and uh, Asian movies. That's a big part of my collection. Let's just try to do this as smooth as possible, or I try at least. Here's another one of the new ones that I picked up. So this is Diodato Holocaust. So this is a documentary about Ruggiero Diodato, who seems like, seemed like such a sweet guy. This was a, a quite nice documentary about his entire career, not just, uh, you know, that movie. But Stephen King's It, 13 Assassins. I love this movie. This is such a good movie. Takeshi Miike. The bloodier samurai movies you'll ever see. Damn good movie. One of the best samurai movies ever. Yep, I certainly agree. We got another Japanese movie, or Asian movie. This is The Swordman. The Swordsman, I should say. And we got Shadow. As I said, I got a lot of Asian movies. Battle of Red Cliff. John Woo movie. Awesome, it's like three and a half hours. Headshot. Fukushima, Lesson of Evil. That's, that, this was a good one. I have a lot of Asian movies. Event Horizon, the classic Event Horizon. This is a great movie. Now we got Halloween, Train to Busan, the follow up Peninsula, Samurai Marathon. The Man with the Iron Fists. Ah, I'm a huge fan of this movie. Sadako. Reset. Another edition of Red Cliff. Well, did I have two editions of Red Cliff? I did. Who knew? I didn't. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Okay. In the, in the, um, the Mouth of Madness. From John, by John Carpenter. Winchester, and just standard edition of The Exorcist. Okay, we got some more Blu-rays to show off here. Okay, I'm sorry for being disorganized, but oops. Oh, I'm falling, things are falling out now. Even that's saying something about how I just put all these stuff here, yeah. Evil Dead from 2013. I like that movie. The Northman. I'm a huge fan of this movie. I'm a huge fan of Robert Eggers as a director. So uh, let's see if this one. Yeah. Moving on here. I got another edition of Winchester. The Fog. I love The Fog. That's a good one. Wolf Creek. But this is the television show. This is the first uh, season. Revenge. That's a good one. The Descent. Huge fan of The Descent. Eli Roth's Green Inferno. X. Man, this was such a good movie. X. I did not like Pearl. I didn't like Pearl at all, but X was excellent. Then we got a Dario Argento collection here. Bird with Crystal Plumage, Suspiria, Deep Red, Tenebrae, Phenomena, and Opera. Kind of a cheap collection, unfortunately, because you look at it and they use, it's a, they've stacked the Blu-rays. I don't like that. But great movies, obviously. Suspiria is one of my all-time favorites. The Town That Dreaded Sundown, the original. Maniac Cop. This comes with uh, some art cards and a poster. Inside the. Uh, French edition and the American edition. The French is good, the American is not. Mayhem. Death of Me. The Forest. The Witch. I love this movie. And I'm thinking about picking up the second sight edition of it because that, that's a great edition. That looks like so, so good. The Witch, once again, it's a Robert Eggers movie. 
Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Classic, The Lost Boys, and The Belko Experiment. So, move on here. I should kind of clean up or something here so I can get some space. I'm sorry for, you see how I... <laughs> Uh, Cabin in the Woods. This is another one I picked up. Helix. This is season two. I have season one incoming. I'm a huge fan of this show. It only ran for two seasons. New Mutants. We got some video games here. Yeah. Crisis Hero. Far Cry 5. Shadow of Colossus. And Spider Man. Yakuza 6. Okay, we got another one. Another Yakuza game. DVD club edition of uh, Adventure Horizon. Kingpin. Dark Knight. Batman Begins. Cape Fear. And a cheap edition of Dracula Untold. Okay. Try to do somewhat. Oh, here we go. Flatliners, the original. I showed this before in my last last video, Star Trek The Next Generation. Let's see what we have here. Strangers Pray at Night and 65. Then we have The Godfather with that letter bound or fake letter pleather edition. It has uh, all, all, obviously all three movies and a bunch of extras. Here we have the Nightmare on Elm Street collection, the Evil Dead collection, yeah, disc 4 is just extras, this is cool edition, we got Millennium, this is the three seasons of Millennium, Friday the 13th, eight movie collection. Twilight Zone, the original series complete. Original series. We have the Masters of Horror. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of movies in here. It doesn't have every DVD in it, but all the cases are there. But. It's a cool collection. It was complete. Okay, DVDs. I'm not gonna go pick up everything with The Wind, Triangle, uh, People Under the Stairs, Twilight Zone the movie, Wolf Creek, the first one, The New Candyman, Psycho Gorman, Barbarian Sound Studio, Witch in the Window, Daniel Isn't Real, Eden Lake, that's such a good movie. Halloween 3, Harakiri, Death of a Samurai. I have the original. This is a remake by Takeshi Miike. Goddamn great movie. And we got two more here. What? The Town of Dread Sundown, the remake, and the French New French Extremity New Fronti uh, Frontiers. Wait, one. And moving in here, we have The Man Who Killed Hitler and then Bigfoot. JFK on DVD as well. The Running Man, the Jason Momoa Conan, which is stupid. Escape from New York, another uh, Shawshank Redemption edition. Backtrack, Young Soldier. The Hyper Years, this is Arsenal, my favorite soccer team. About uh, this, is, this is a DVD about the former stadium, Hyper. Arsenal the Italian job when they, it's about a game they went to uh, Italy play Milan or Inter Milan and defeated them 5-1 49 the unbeaten record when they went 49 games with a loss uh, the ordeal or Calvaire New French extremity deep fear alien origin and base Moi. old boy I have it on not a DVD edition and, of course, the Arrow Blu-ray. The Pool, Satan's Slaves, 47 Ronin, The Gangster, The Cop, The Devil, One Cut of the Dead, Premonition, 
Revenge a Love Story. It's a great one. I Saw the Devil. It's such a good, underrated movie. No one talks about this one. Oops. No one talks about I Saw the Devil. Damn, what a good movie. I recommend everybody watch. Pick If you can't pick up this movie, I'm, I'm going to try to get it on Blu-ray. I want a better edition of this, but I Saw the Devil. Goddamn good movie. Uh, a Bittersweet Life is another Korean movie. Then we have Halloween, which is this. Six, The Curse of Michael Myers. Five, then we got Halloween Five. Rec 2, Halloween H2O. Uh, Halloween Resurrection. The Borderlands is another one I just picked up. Decent found footage movie, not the greatest in the world. Okay, moving on to the final stack. Resolution, The Void, Halloween 2, Violation, Switchblade Romance, or uh, Hot Tension, High Tension, The Original Dracula, we have The Abyss, Wishmaster, The Cell, I Spit on Your Grave, Sputnik, The Cellar, Mohawk, uh, Cabin Fever, Wired Shut, and Brawl in cell block 99 so those are the stuff i have the movies i have in this cupboard i don't know even what i have here here i have some nice sword quest that's an older one godzilla treasury edition photo albums Frank Frazetta's The Snowman. <laughs> That's a cool, good one. Batman, The Nine Lives. Very cool book. Beautiful book, though. Oh, my... Uh, Lone Wolf and Cubs single issues. Frank Miller, Daredevil, Punisher. That's not Punisher, but you. this is Sicario. This is a Kickstarter book. Awesome Kickstarter. Yeah. Signed and autographed. Get some more Punisher. Single issues of Punisher. We got the few manga I have. Mr. Keaton. Or Master Keaton and Monster. Here. I have some more books. More Punisher stuff. Master Keaton. Yoku. Anyway, that's the cupboard. Uh, you've seen this before. My comic book shelf. I did a video about this not too long ago. It's just a hodgepodge of a video. I need to do some work here, you know, man. So this is parts, just one part of my movie collection. I have tons more DVDs, tons more Blu-rays. I eventually gonna do videos for those too, but uh, <laughs> I love this. I love my comic book collection. I know it's not the biggest one, but I'm a huge fan of it. Got another statue here, this is Max Payne. Let's just go over this quickly here. Get the complete Calvin and Hobbes. Usagi Yimbo. Shock Tardis. World War II commemoration. Complete Life and Times of Scrooge McDuck. Human Masters of the Universe. The Labyrinth. This is a Kickstarter. Uh, Shabote is alone. The Trigon Empire. The Trigon Empire. And we got Strinko Sneak Fury, Artisan Edition. We got some Funkos, Punisher, Heisenberg, uh, Rick. Path of the Assassin, Shogun, Path of the Assassin, Shogun, Executioner, Lone Fun Cub, I Kill Monsters, and even some bigger editions. Anyway, that's it for now. And uh, please comment down below. 
give me a thumb up. Subscribe if you like. I will really appreciate everything. And appreciate a comment as well if there's something you like, if there's something you'd like to see. I'm thinking about doing like uh, hidden gems for comics or, or movies, stuff that I think people should read or watch that isn't doesn't get talked about way too much. But uh, everybody have a very, very good Christmas. Very nice Christmas. Hopes you hope you get some nice Christmas presents. Uh, Stuff like that. But uh, keep safe. And until next time, everybody. Bye-bye.